Science play. Quest con science play. You can have lots of fun with science, so let's all play. Animal detectives. Hello, my name's Cordelia. I made some yummy jelly to eat for morning tea. And that's Lang. Oh! Lang, are you okay? Lang! Uh, 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 oh, my leg! My leg! Ah, oh, my leg! Are you okay? Oh, my leg, it's really hurting. Maybe it's broken. Broken? Calm down, we don't know if it's broken yet. Is it still hurting? Um. No, it feels a lot better now. Well, I don't think you've broken your leg. How do you know? If you did break a bone in your leg, it would hurt a lot. Would it get better? Yes, because bones inside us are living. And if they break, they can fix themselves. So our bones are hard to protect our bodies and help us stand up tall. Without them, we might look like this. A big pile of jelly. Without bones in our bodies, we would be like floppy rag dolls. We could even tie our arms in a knot. Or tie them in a bow. Do your arms hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Do your arms hang low? There are lots of bones in my body and they all make up a skeleton. Have you seen a skeleton before? I think I know where I can find a pretend one. Without skeletons, we wouldn't be able to stamp our feet because our legs would hang low. Do your legs hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Do your legs hang low? What? It's just my pretend skeleton. We can use it to look at all the bones inside our body. Good idea. Mm, what bone is this one? Oh, feel your head. Does it feel hard? That's your skull. It acts like a helmet to protect your brain in case you hit your head. Mm, what about these bones? Reach around into the middle of your back. Can you feel all of these bumps? What are they called? Those bumps are part of your spine, which lets us twist and bend and stand up tall. These bones at the front of your body are your rib cage. A bird cage? Is there really a bird in there? Not a bird cage, a rib cage. Oh, well, what does your rib cage protect? Inside your chest are your lungs. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Air is going into your lungs and your rib cage protects your heart and your lungs. I know a song about bones. It's called Them Bones and it goes like this. Them bones, them bones, them. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them. Dry bones, now connect those skeleton bones. Your toe bones connect to your foot bone. Your foot bones connect to your ankle bone. Your ankle bones connect to your leg bone. Now connect those skeleton bones. Your leg bones connect to your knee bone. Your knee bones connect to your thigh bone. Your thigh bones connect to your hip bone. Now connect those skeleton bones. Your hip bones connect to your back bone. Your back bones connect to your shoulder bone. Your shoulder bones connect to your neck bone. Now connect those skeleton bones. Them bones, them bones, them. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them. Dry bones, them bones, them bones, them. Dry bones, now connect those skeleton bones.
where we can look at lots of different animal skeletons. Skeletons give animals their shape. We can play a guessing game using these skeletons. Can you guess what animal this skeleton's from? Hmm, it's got a really long body and it doesn't have any arms or legs. Do you know what this skeleton is? I think it's a snake. Good guessing. Can you guess what animal this skeleton's from? It's got two big feet and a really long tail. Can you guess this one? I think it's a kangaroo or a wallaby. Well done, it's a little wallaby. Now for a harder one. What bird is this skeleton from? It has a really long neck. Do you know a bird that has a long neck? Is it a swan? It does have a really long neck, but swans don't have a beak this long. It's a pelican. Did you guess that one? Well done. We can't see our skeletons because they're inside our body. But some animals have skeletons on the outside of their bodies. This stick insect has an outside skeleton. Its skeleton is its hard shell. Can you guess what animal this skeleton is from? It's a crab shell. Is it an inside or outside skeleton? I think it's an outside skeleton, so I'll place it on the orange mat. Its hard shell protects its soft body. Have you seen this skeleton before? It's from a fish. Is it an inside or outside skeleton? Hmm, I think it must be under all those scales. So it's an inside skeleton and goes on the purple mat. Here I have a leg bone of a horse. Is it an inside or outside skeleton? Let's have a look at the picture. I can't see the bone in the picture, so it must be part of an inside skeleton. And it goes on the purple mat. Here is a little snail shell. Is it an inside or outside skeleton? It's an outside skeleton, so I'll place it on the orange mat. Let's have a look at this turtle shell. Is it an inside or an outside skeleton? Hmm, I can see the bony spine and ribs on the inside are attached to the hard shell on the outside. So it must be an inside and outside skeleton and I'll place it in the middle. Skeletons must be very important if most animals have them. Are there any animals that don't have a skeleton? A jellyfish doesn't have a skeleton. It has a very wobbly body that moves slowly through the water. Calcium is something in our bones which makes them hard and strong. I've been doing a science experiment to see what our bones would be like without calcium. 
Three weeks ago, I put a chicken bone, just like this one, into a cup of vinegar. And every few days, I changed the vinegar. That vinegar took out all of the calcium from the bone. I wonder what a bone would be like without any calcium. Wow, look, it's soft and bendy. This soft bone used to be hard, like this one. But now it's all bendy. So without calcium, our bones would be bendy like our ears. To keep our bones strong, we need to do lots of exercise, like dancing or running. We can get calcium for our bones by drinking milk and eating lots of green leafy veggies because they have lots of calcium. Eggshells and seashells also have calcium in them to make them hard. This egg has been soaking in vinegar for a few days. I wonder what's happened to the hard eggshell. <gasps> the hard shell's gone and now it's soft and squishy. We can even bounce it. We can even see the yellow egg yolk if I shine a torch through it and turn off the lights. It glows! What's wrong? It's my eggs. I can't find them anywhere. They were here just a minute ago. Don't worry, Muddy. I'll find your eggs. I'm a really good detective. Thanks, Lang. Cordelia, is he really a good detective? He'll find them, Muddy. Thanks. It's all right, Muddy. Oh, what's taking Lang so long? He'll be here soon. <laughs> oh, here he is. Oh, hi, Lang. Did you find my eggs? Muddy, I found lots of eggs, and I'm sure that one of them is yours. Oh, good. Is your egg this one? Wow, that one is extraordinary, <laughs> but it's not mine. Lang, that's a shark egg. Oh, OK. Well, what about one of these ones? Oh, not exactly. <laughs> you see, those are too small. Those eggs are still attached to the leaf. They're caterpillar eggs. OK, well, I'm sure that it's this one. Oh, that is massive, but not mine. That's an emu egg, Lang. OK, um, I bet it's one of these ones. Ew, gross. Those are small and slimy. That's because they're frog eggs. Lang, <sighs> do you have any more? I've got one more. Muddy is... This one your egg? Ooh. Oh, that one's a little bit too small and it's kind of squishy and, and soft. Ooh. That's no, because it's, it's a snake egg. Ah! Muddy, get Don't it away, worry, get it away, Don't worry, get it away. Lang, you didn't find Muddy's eggs. That was the last one. I don't even know what a dinosaur egg looks like. Oh, dinosaur eggs. No, you see, Lang, I don't think I explained myself very well. <laughs> see, that was a yoke. <laughs> no, you see, I'm actually looking for my eggs on toast. My breakfast. Eggs on toast? Yes. Muddy, do you mean these eggs? Yes. There they are. You are a good detective. Thank you, Lang. Here I am with my friend Nikki. Hi. Nikki is a zookeeper and we both have two animals that can fly. I'm holding an Australian bird called a galah. She has pretty pink feathers. Nikki, what type of bird is that? 
Lang, this isn't a bird, it's a bat. Bats have fur and birds have feathers. Bats have a mouth like ours with teeth and birds have beaks to eat with. Bats give birth to live babies that drink milk, just like you did when you were a baby. Birds hatch out of eggs and baby birds don't drink milk. Bats and birds both have wings and they both can fly, but birds and bats are very different. There are some animals in this tree. Can you see them? One, two, three, Four. Four insects. They are called stick insects because they look a lot like sticks. Why would an animal want to look like a stick? To hide from other animals like birds that would want to gobble them up for lunch. Some birds eat worms and insects, but do they eat sticks? No, yuck! Birds don't eat sticks, so these insects are pretending to be sticks, so the birds don't eat them. These animals are really good at hiding, and that reminds me of my favourite game, Hide and Seek. Cordelia, I'm going to go and hide like a stick insect, and you have to come and find me. Bye! OK, I'll count to ten. See you next time. One, two, three, four...